Guys, welcome back to Mets Central. This is Mets Fan Reaction Game 99, where the New York Mets defeat the Miami Marlins by a score to 6-4. And they're able to salvage this four-game set against the Marlins by winning tonight and tying the series at 2-2. Two two. Now, look, am I entirely happy with the performance, the win, and the series? No, look, I'm happy that they got the win tonight. But if we're going to be totally honest, like the Mets should have beat the Marlins by a lot more tonight. And they made it a lot closer than it should have been. And I'm sure, you know, we'll get into that, you know, when we do the post game the post game recap a little bit later, but yeah, for some reason the Mets just have a tough time beating the Marlins. Like I, I, I don't entirely get it. Like thankfully we only have three more games against the Marlins and it's at City Field, so I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for a sweep in that series, but yeah, look, going to this series against the Marlins and coming out of the All Star break, like I, I, I know I mentioned last time on yesterday's post game show that. You never want to underestimate your opponent. And look, the Mets are a much better team than the Marlins. Like, I think we can all agree that I think we can all agree on that. And you know, the Marlins are the second worst team in the National League. You know, the Colorado Rockies are the only team behind them. But look, splitting this four game set against the Marlins is it's not acceptable. It's it's not. They should have look in a perfect world, would I have liked them to sweep the Marlins? Sure. We we would have all liked them to sweep the Marlins, but in reality, like like I just I would have taken a three one series win, but they got the split, and now they head into the Bronx for a for a two game set against the um, the Yankees in the Subway Series. And look, hopefully, you know, um, they could take both games against the Yankees and take the season series four to nothing. But right now, probably I'm just looking at a split right now. Just you know, but hey, listen, if they if they take a two game sweep against the Yankees, I'll be the last guy. I'll be the last guy to complain because it's always nice to beat the Yankees, right? But um. Yeah, before we get into the actual post game recap, just make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. You know, we greatly appreciate that. We greatly appreciate that on the channel. And, you know, we just appreciate your support. So, yeah, if you could do that, that'd be great. But anyway, let's get into the actual um, post game recap. Um, David Pearson was on the mound for the New York Mets today, and Yanni Chirinos is on the mound for the Miami Marlins. Um, top of the first, Francisco Lindor was leading off, and he would fly out to um, Vidal Brujan in center field. That would, that would then be followed by a Brandon Nimmo single. J.D. Martinez would, they, would then get a single, so first and second with the Mets with one out. And unfortunately, they couldn't get anything going in this inning as Pete Alonzo, the guy who has been struggling recently, even though, to be fair to him, we'll get into it a bit later, but Pete actually did have a, a much better game today. But he grounded into an inning ending double play, so Mets couldn't get anything on that inning. Bottom of the first, um, David Peterson would start the inning by hitting Jazz Chisholm with a pitch, so he'd go to first. Then he get a double play as Brian De La Cruz would um he, he would actually line out to Pete and then Pete would he, uh, would step on first base complete the complete the double play he would then walk Josh Bell thankfully though nothing would happen that inning as he would get um, Jake Berger to um ground out to Jose Iglesias top of the second DJ Stewart would would start off the inning with a walk Francisco Alvarez would strike out Jose Iglesias would pop out and it looked like you know the Mets wouldn't get anything going that uh, wouldn't get anything going this inning. Fortunately, though, Jeff McNeil, who has been pretty good um, out of the also break so far, you know, hit the hit the two home runs in the first game of the series, and he hit another homer tonight. And he's as he would hit a two run home run into right field, so he would give the Mets a two nothing lead. And hey, listen, if Jeff McNeil is going to heat up now at the right time, listen, I'll I'll gladly take that. Look, we're probably not going to see you know 2019, 2022 Jeff McNeil, but if we can at least see a semi productive Jeff McNeil, you know. You know, going into the trade deadline and into the postseason potentially, then hey, listen, I'll take that because we desperately need him to be productive. Um, Harrison Bader would then single. Um, Harrison Bader actually, you know, uh, sporting a new look today, shaved the beard, so clean shaven, and he'd actually have a solid game today. But he would get the single. Francisco Lindor would walk. Um, then the Mets execute a double steal. Bader steal third. Francisco Lindor which would um steal second base. Fortunately, the Mets Mets couldn't get anything that inning as Brandon Nimmo would strike out to end, it, to end the inning. Then moving on to the bottom of the second, Otto Lopez would um ground out to David Peterson. He would then walk Xavier Edwards. Edwards would then steal second base. Uh, Peterson would then strike out Emmanuel Rivera. Uh, Vidal Brujan would then hit a double down the right field line. And um, at, after, the, after that inning, uh, I was I, I forgot to mention um, – he um he doubled down the line and then um Jeff Mc, uh, DJ Stewart with a nice throw to um Jeff McNeil then over to Ho Jose Iglesias at third and he was able to um to get um Vidal Brujan out who was trying to um reach third base to get a triple but after after that inning there was a replay and it actually showed that down the right field line that ball was actually hit foul 
And I guess Harrison Freeland, who is the guy's uh, who was the Mets video guy, I guess he didn't he didn't get the video in time because the Mets should have challenged that play because that ball said foul and th then the run should have counted. But thankfully, the Mets only got out of the inning with with the one uh, with only giving up one run. But still sucks to give up a run that shouldn't have been. But listen, at least it wasn't more. Uh, then top of the third, J.D. Martinez would ground out to Xavier Edwards. Pete Alonso would then get a single. D.J. Stewart would then pop out to uh, Emmanuel Rivera at third, and Francisco Alvarez would strike out to in the inning. Francisco Alvarez went 0 for 5 tonight. He had a bad game. Um, uh, he had a bad game in general today. At least on the offense side, D defensively he was he was decent tonight. Then moving on to the bottom of the third, um, Ali Sanchez would fly out to Harrison Bader in center. Uh, Jess Chisholm would then ground out to Francisco and Duarte Short. Uh, Brian De La Cruz would then would then hit a single. Uh, De La Cruz would then would then steal second. Josh Bell would walk. So first and second uh, with two outs. Thankfully though, nothing nothing going for the Monster inning as David Peterson would get Jake Berger to strike out. Then moving on to the top of the fourth, Jose Iglesias would lead off with a triple. Jeff McNeil would then bring him in with a sacrifice fly. Uh, Harrison Bader, second hit of the night would um, with another single. He would try to steal second. Uh, unfortunately, though, a, a good throw over, and Harrison Bader would be caught stealing. Then a little bittersweet because Bader uh, Bader was caught stealing, but Francisco Alv um, Francisco Lindor would then hit a home run on the next pitch. So, listen, I, I would have liked you know uh, Bader to um to make it to second base safely, so uh, Lindor would have gotten a two run um home run. But hey, listen, at, at least Lindor got the home run there, so he would make it four to one there, and Brandon Emma would pop out to Emmanuel Rivera at third to end it end the inning. Then moving on to the bottom of the fourth, Otto Lopez would fly out to Bader in center. Xavier Edwards would then get a single. Amanda Rivera would then single as well. So first and second with uh, one out. But then a nice pickoff play by David Peterson. It would have to be reviewed, but he did get Emmanuel Rivera out. At, um, he did get Emmanuel Rivera out at first base. So big out right there for the for the Mets. He would then walk Vidal Brujan. Fortunately, though, Peterson would get out of the inning as um, he'd get Ali Sanchez to ground out to Jose Iglesias at third. Then moving on to the top of the fifth, J.D. Martinez would walk. Pete Alonso would then get another single, so his second hit of the night. Uh, D.J. Stewart would then walk, so bases loaded with nobody out. Francisco Alvarez, who I mentioned again, had a poor game. He would strike out. Thankfully, though, the Mets would get a run as Jose Iglesias would be hit by a pitch to make it 5-1. to one. Uh, Then Jeff McNeil would, would ground out to, uh, to Jake Berger. And Harrison Bader would um strike out. I mean, he would pop out the Xavier Edwards ending. So listen, it was nice to get the one run, but the Mets should have gotten um more than one run there. I'm sorry, you had base loaded with no out. Like you have to be tallying at least two or three runs there. Like, and listen, it, it's been that's been an Achilles heel for the Mets this series. Stranding guys um on base, they should have scored more runs in the first inning with the P double play and here. Listen, like I said, I'll take the one run, but you have to get more runs with when you when you have base loaded and nobody out. Then bottom of the fifth, uh, Peterson would get Jazz Chisholm to strike out. Then he would get Brian De La Cruz to um, ground out. He then give up a home run to um to Josh Bell, so uh, that would make it five to two Mets. Uh, Jake Berger would then hit a double, and then he w Peterson would then get Otto Lopez to strike out swinging. Then moving on to the top of the fifth, uh, top of the sixth. Uh, Brazaban will come in to replace uh, Yanni Chirinos. Quick one, two, three inning for him as he would get Lindor to pop out to Xavier Edwards. Brendan Nimmo would strike out swinging, and JD Martinez would fly out to Vidal Bujan in center field to end, end the inning. Then, bottom of the sixth, um, Jose Budo would come in to replace David Peterson. And look, for David Peterson's game tonight, not great, not terrible either. I mean, he he did only go up to two runs, but just too many walks. He, he gave up four. Um, Gave up four walks today, and that's that's the thing with Peterson. Like when Peterson's on his game, like he he looks really good, but when he starts losing command of that strike zone, like it it can negatively negatively affect him a lot. And you know we've seen that you know throughout you know the couple of years that he has been a Mets. But his, his line at the end of the night, five innings, five innings pitch, six hits, uh, two earned runs given up, four walks, four strikeouts, and one home run allowed, which was to Josh Bell. So that takes his season ERA up to a 3.14. But anyway, like I said, Jose Budo would come in, would come in to replace Peterson. He'd get Xavier Edwards to strike out. I mean, sorry, he'd get Xavier Ed Edwards to line out to Harrison Bader in center. Jesus Sanchez would then pinch hit and replace Emmanuel Rivera. Budo would get him to strike out. He would then walk Vidal Brujan, and then he would get Ali Sanchez to fly out to Harrison Bader in center. 
Then uh, top of the seventh, uh, Pete Alonso would strike out swinging. T.J. Stewart would ground out, and then Francisco uh, Francisco Alvarez would fly out to Brian De La Cruz and left. Then moving on to the bottom of the seventh, Tyrone Taylor would come in uh, as a defensive re replacement for D.J. Stewart and Wright. Um, Jazz Chisholm would strike out. Brian De La Cruz would then hit a home run off Jose Budo to make it 5-3. to three. Josh Bell would then strike out, and Jake Berger would then line out to Jose, Jose Glacey at third. So solid outing by Budo. Obviously, it sucks to give up the, give up the one home run, but when you look at the pitch to, to Brian De La Cruz that he made, which, which he um, would hit the home run off of, it was a it was a fastball, you know. He he pitched it inside. Brian De La Cruz just turned on it, and he you know he sent that out of the ballpark. So solid hit, solid hitting by De La Cruz there. Un, unlucky on Jose Budo's part. But then top of the eighth, um, Anthony Bender would would replace Brazilbon as he would get Jose Iglesias to strike out. Jack McNeil would ground out, and Harrison Bader would strike out as well. Then moving on to the bottom of the eighth, Phil Maton would come in to replace Jose Budo. Um, he would get Otto Lopez to um, line up Harrison Bader. Nice, uh, a nice uh, catch by Harrison Bader as well. Xavier Edwards would then ground out, and Jesus Sanchez would ground out to um, Jose Iglesias at third and end the inning. Then moving on to the top of the ninth, um, T, uh, JT uh, Cargois would come in to replace Anthony Bender. Uh, Francisco Lindor, like I mentioned before, uh, big game tonight. He would hit another home run to make the. Uh, it would be another. Um, Another home run to make the game six to three for the Mets, which it would be a big run um, because you know we'll get into it in the bottom of the ninth. Brandon Nimmo would then line out, uh, line out sharply to Brian De La Cruz. JD Martinez would then get a single, so a nice little game for JD there. Uh, I think two hits tonight and a walk, so hopefully it gets him back in the groove. Uh, ben Gamble would then come in for a pinch runner to replace JD Martinez. Pete Alonso would walk. Tyrone Taylor would then ground out to a force out. And Francisco uh, Alvarez would ground into a force out as well. To end the inning. Then moving on to the bottom of the ninth, uh, Edwin Diaz would come in to close and replace Phil Maton. He would get Vidal Brujan to strike out swinging. Then he would start to lose a little bit, a little bit of command. You know, he really couldn't get that fastball on, on the control tonight. He was, you know, he just kept missing outside the zone. Nick Gordon would then get a single. Jazz Chisholm would walk. So first and second with um with one out. Uh, Brian De La Cruz would then hit a single, which it, it, it that that at bat sucked because he, he would hit a little chopper to Edwin Diaz right, and he was trying to up, he picked up the ball and he tried to make the throw over to second base to start the double play. Fortunately though, unfortunately though, Jeff McNeil or Francisco Lindor wasn't there to cover the base, so. He kind of hesitated, you know. He tried to throw it the second. He saw no one was there, so he tried to throw it over the first. Brian De La Cruz beat off the throw, though. Then Josh Bell would ground out to a check needle at second, and you know, so second and third for the Marlins with with two outs. Uh, but thankfully, though, Marlins wouldn't get anything going. You know, no big home run like we saw uh, Edwin Diaz give up in May. He'd get uh, Jake Berger to pop out to Jeff McNeil um, at second to end the inning. So. Final score, Mets win six to four. And like I said, the game was much closer than it should have been. And like I said before, the Mets, for some reason, they, they always make it difficult against the Marlins. I don't know why, but they do. But thankfully, they won the game. And, you know, now you look at it, the Mets move up to 51 and 48. They're still, let's take a look at the wild card standings. They're still the third wild card spot, but, you know, they're uh, half a game back against the Cardinals and a team that they're going to face on the weekend. Thursday to Sunday series, uh, the Braves, they're only three games back of the Braves. And, you know, we, we learned yesterday that Ozzy Albies, you know, fractured his wrist, I think, by trying to steal a base. So he'll, he's going to be out now two to three months. So, and now, you know, you add that on, you add that on to the other Braves injuries, you know, Acuna out for the year, Spencer Schreiner out for the year, um, you know, Max Fried went on the 15 day IL. So, the Braves are a little beat up now, and they and they also lost tonight to the Cincinnati Reds by a score of four to one. So look, you know, obviously the Mets have to take care of the Yankees now in the, in this two game set, but the Mets got to take advantage of this you know, of this beating up uh, Atlanta Braves team. And listen, I would love it if they could you know jump the first wild card spot and host a playoff game tonight because you know I will be there at City Field for a wild card for, for, for a wild card game. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's gonna be the that was the post game recap. Like I said before, I hope you guys um, like the video and make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. You know, like I said before, greatly appreciate it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and um, see you next time.